Hello everyone, this is Heading Tian. Uh, in this video, we will learn lecture uh, chapter 8.2, Income Tax. Uh, this lecture based on the tax book and uh, the IRS rules in 2016. So now we don't use this uh, formula, some formula or definitions from this uh, class to uh, compute the income tax. But uh, maybe later they modify the, the rules. You still need you you still need to use uh, this kind of formula to find the income tax. So just to understand how does this uh, does the uh, income tax computed? Okay, let's see. The first one is determine gross income, adjusted adjustable gross income, and taxable income. Some definitions. The first one is income tax. Uh, it is the percentage of your income collected by the government to fund its services and programs. Calculating your federal income tax begins with gross income or total income for the year. The next step in calculating your federal income tax is to determine uh, your adjusted gross income. Uh, the formula of the adjusted gross income is gross income uh, subtract adjustment. What is the uh, adjustment? That's including a uh, tax deferred saving plan like 41K IRA and uh, per a percentage of uh, the college expenses. Uh, the exemption. An exemption is a fixed amount on your return for uh, each person reported, supported by your income. So you can find the exemptions from the textbook, uh, text table. Next one is a standard deduction. It's a lump sum amount that you can subtract from your adjusted gross income. So where to find the, the exemption and standard deduction? We can find it from the text table here is shown here uh, there are four statutes which one you need to choose is all depends on you your statutes for example if you are single and your standard deduction here is six three uh, sixty three hundred dollar the exemptions is forty fifty dollars per person What's the meaning of per person? If you are single and your exemptions is 40, 50, but if you have a, a child, like that's a, the dependent. So you add another 40, 50. If you have a two dependents, so you need to, to add two times 40, 50. So uh, if you have two dependents, this one and this one, you need to have this and this and this amount of uh, exemptions. Okay, let's continue to talk to talk about itemized deduction. Itemized deductions are deductions you list separately if you have incurred a large number of deductible expenses, uh, like mortgage, property taxes, tax. Uh, state taxes, contribution to charity, medical expenses is exceeds, uh, exceeding 7.5% of adjusted gross income. So uh, let's move on to next definition, taxable income. Taxable income figured by subtracting exemptions and deductions from adjusted gross income. So taxable income is equal to adjusted gross income subtract the sum of exemptions and the deductions. Adjusted gross income we have learned equals gross income, I uh, use GI represent gross income, subtract adjustment, adjustment like some uh, tax deferred saving plan. And uh, exemptions we can find it from the uh, tax table, uh, deduction, there are two kinds of deduction. One is uh, standard deduction. That's the 
uh, deduction can, you can find from the text, uh, text table. Uh, I think I mentioned about it. You can find it from here, uh, this amount of money. And there, uh, another kind is itemized deduction uh, that included the mortgage, property taxes, state taxes. The definition is here. So uh, which one I need to choose to fill my deductions? Just compare which one is greater. If standard deduction is uh, 6,300 and uh, itemized deduction is 10,000, the itemized one is greater than the standard deduction. So we choose uh, $10,000 as the deduction. So we don't need to use this one. If, uh, if the itemized one is 1,000 and standard deduction is 6,300. So this, we, uh, the standard deduction is greater than the itemized $1,000 uh, deductions. So we will choose this one as our deductions. Let's move on to see the example. A single man earned the wages of this amount and received this amount in interest from a saving account, received $15,000 in winning a television game show and contribute to this amount of money to tax deferred saving plan. So by now we will find that the gross income we have is this one, this one, and this one. We need to uh, add them together. That's his gross income. And uh, here is taxable uh, deferred saving plan. That's adjustment. Let's continue to read. He is entitled uh, to a personal exemption of $40, $50 and a standard deduction, $6,300. The interest on his home mortgage was this amount, and then he paid uh, this amount of property taxes, and this amount of the state taxes, and the contribution to the charity. So let's see the question. Determine the man's gross income. That equals um, 46,500 plus 1850 plus 15,000. So this is his uh, gross income equals, uh, I provided here is 63,350. Next question, determine the man's adjusted gross income. Adjusted gross income, uh, AGI equals uh, gross income subtract adjust adjustment. So the, gro uh, the gross income is 63,350 subtract the uh, adjustment, which is the 2300, the 100 the tax deferred saving plan. So let's see, what is that? Uh, just copy the, the answer from the book. Okay, just to see it from here. This amount of money, that's 61050. And next question, determine the man's taxable income. The taxable income equals the adjusted gross income, AGI. Just to use uh, AGI represent adjusted gross income, sorry. Oh, sorry for that. So the taxable income, that's the definition. Uh, uh, that's the formula AGI equals gross income. Oh. No. So erase all of this. So taxable income equals AGI subtract exemption plus deduction. The exemption it gave, uh, gave us from the question uh, is 
this amount. So I plug it in as four zero fifty plus the deduction. Um, deduction they gave us a standard one as six three hundred, and also he provide us the itemized one. This one, this one, this one, and this one. We need to uh, add the itemized together and to see uh, the standard deduction is greater or the itemized deduction is greater. So let me uh, calculate to the itemized deduction. Uh, that equals the first amount is 6,500. That's his home mortgage. Uh, plus 21,000 plus 1855 plus 3000. So this amount of money is, must be greater than the standard deduction because this um, item is more than 6300. So uh, the answer of this part should be. Thirteen four five five dollars. Let's see. Yeah, that that is okay. So let's move on to determine the taxable income. Taxable income equals AGI. AGI we have learned that's the adjusted gross income, which is sixty one zero five zero. Subtract the I don't know. Oh, the exemption is 40, 50 plus 13, 4, 5, 5. And this one equals, uh, use your calculator to provide the answer here is 4, 3, 5, 4, 5. So this is the amount of a tax he owned. Okay, that's the way to solve the problem. Okay, let's see next part, the calcul uh, calculate federal income tax. Uh, a tax table is used to determine how much you owe based on your taxable income. However, you don't have to pay this much uh, if you have entitled to any tax credits. Tax credits are some of money that reduce the income tax owed by the full dollar for dollar amount of the credits. So how to find the income tax? The first step we have learned, first two steps we already learned, that's find adjusted gross income. Use the formula adjusted AGI equals gross income, subtract adjustment, gross income, uh, that's including your wages, tips, earning from investment and employment uh, uh, compensation. Uh, adjustment, uh, that's uh, just like the tax defer savings plans, 41K uh, IRA, and the percentage of college expenses. Next, you must find the taxable income. We learned that AGI subtract uh, the sum of exemptions and deductions. The exemptions you can find from the tax table. If you have, uh, if uh, you have one dependent, you can uh, have a, uh, the exemption for you and then it's the exemption for your de dependent. If you uh, so read it and the same amount for each dependent. So if you have three dependent and uh, you have exemption for yourself and then also you have three um, exemption uh, exemptions for your three dependent, that means you have four times the amount of exemptions. Mm, that's 40, 50 from the tax table. Okay, deduction part has two kinds of deduction. One is, uh, is standard deduction. Uh, we can find it from the table. The table provided us is four, uh, is 63, uh, Hundred or so. Let me check. A oh, hundred, right? It's sixty-three hundred. And itemized deduction, uh, including the uh, the 
interest on home mortgage, uh, state income taxes, property taxes, uh, the contribution to the charity, and the medical expenses exceeding 7.5% of adjusted gross income. So compare which one is greater. If the itemized one is 10,000, so we choose this one as deduction. If this one is greater, we choose this one. Okay, let's move on to next part to see uh, how to find the in income tax. Income tax is equal to tax computation. Subtract the tax credits. Co uh, tax computation, uh, use your tax, uh, tax table uh, to find uh, uh, the money you owned. So use taxable income and tax rates for filling statutes uh, to determine this amount. That's, that means you use your uh, table to find the, the tax computations. Uh, the tax credits, the lawmaker have enacted numerous tax credits to help def defray college costs. Uh, the tax table is shown here. Uh, it's including the standard deductions and the exemptions. And uh, uh, so four filling statutes categories described in the voice uh, balloons, the tax, the tax rates uh, in the left column is called a marginal tax rate. The tax rate here, it's marginal tax rate. Uh, so let's see, uh, let's see the example. Suppose you're a single and your taxable income is 25,000. In this scenario, your, mar uh, your marginal rate is 15%. Let's see, we have 25,000. You are a single, you find your, your income range is here because your money is 25,000. So it's between these. Uh, how to find the uh, tax, the income tax? You already, uh, they already provide you the taxable income. That then uh, you must pay 10% tax on the first uh, nine, uh, 9275. So that means 10%, 10 times this amount of money, which is 97, oh, sorry, 9275. And plus seven, uh, 15% of this amount of money, or oh, sorry, the money between this one and, oh, sorry. Let me write it down first. 15% times you, uh, your money is 25,000. Subtract 9275. Because uh, the remaining money, uh, the money above this amount is the remaining money this amount of money, subtract this. So in this range, you need to pay 15% on the tax. And then the sum of these two parts, that's the tax you need to pay for the uh, IRS. Okay, uh, here I already computed the, uh, the amount of money you need to pay. So use your calculator to find the result here. Okay, let's move on to see next uh, question. Next example, calculate the federal income tax owned by a single woman with no dependent whose gross income adjustment deductions and credits are given in the margin. Uh, use the tax table to find the, the income tax. So her gross income adjustment, some itemized deductions here and tax credits. So first step, let's find the gross income. First step, 
grossing income. Uh, oh, they already provide us the gross income. So no need to find the gross income. What should we do? We need to find the adjusted gross income, AGI. That equals gross income uh, subtract adjustment. That equals 62,000 subtract 4,000 equals uh, 58,000. And next step is find the taxable income, taxable income that equals AGI. AGI subtract the exemptions plus the deductions. So the exemption uh, is given on the table. Uh, let's find the exemption. Uh, this woman is single and his exemption is 4050. So plug in the AGI and the exemptions. AGI is uh, 58,000. Subtract uh, 4050 and then find the deduction. So which deduction we can use? We should use the table uh, showed us the 63,000 one. Oh, sorry, 6,300 one or the itemized one. Uh, let's see. So only this amount of mortgage interest is greater than uh, 6,300. So we don't use standard deduction. We use the itemized one. Uh, how much of the itemized one? Itemized deduction equals mortgage is 75,000, uh, sorry, 7,500 plus 2,200 plus 2,400 plus, do we need to plus the medical expense? Because we, we learned that if the medical expense is greater than 7.5% of AGI, adjusted gross income. So we can use uh, that. But if it's less than 7.5% of AGI, we can't use it. So let's see, uh, what is the 7.5% 7, 7 of the AGI? 7.5% so times the AGI is we have computed 58,000. Uh, use the calculator. Let's just see the, if I can find the number from the book or we use calculator to find it. Just to see if they have it. Oh, they provided up to us is 4350 is 4350. So this amount of money, if the medical expense is more than this, it we can uh, use this amount of money here. If uh, the medical expense is less than 4350, we need to cross it out. We count it, it, it this one can't be counted here. So that's all the itemized deduction. Um, this part equals, uh, let's see if, okay, it's 12,100. So this amount of money is itemized deduction and plug in this amount of money in the formula. So three, uh, the taxable income equals uh, uh, 58,000 subtract 4050 uh, plus 12,100. So use uh, the calculator to find the... Let's see, just to copy the, mm -hmm. I want to copy, but uh, where is it? Okay, just to find uh, the textbook income here. Uh, 
So we got this amount of money, uh, 41,850. 41, so this amount is a taxable income. And then next step, we need to go back to the table to find uh, the money we need to pay. So just to copy the table from previous big table because he's single and uh, he's, uh, taxable income is 41850. So his money is in, his income is in this range. So uh, the tax he need to pay need to be separated in three parts. The first part, uh, this amount of money need to pay 10% of the income tax. And uh, this amount of money need to pay 15%. And then use the remaining part, the re remaining part of money need to pay 25%. So let's see how to find the tax computation. The tax computation. equals the first uh, amount of money need to pay 10%. I can use 0 0.1 because 10% uh, equals 0 0.1. First step, uh, you can, uh, because 10 has a decimal point here uh, on the right, and then you move to the left two decimals, one, two. You got, got zero here, and then take away the percentage sign. That's the 0 0.1. Okay, use 0 0.1, multiply. The first amount, the first part is 92.75. And next part need to pay 15% of the tax. Uh, so some student ask, can I use this, subtract this? Actually, we, uh, we need to use this amount of money, subtract this. Because, because 9276 is included in this range. So when you compute it, you need to use, oh no, this is very important. So we use 37650, this, subtract 9275. Seven five. So you use this amount, subtract this amount because this one is included in the uh, range. If we use, uh, if we use this, subtract this. Uh, so we will, uh, uh, we will subtract one dollars more. So you use, um, you use seven uh, three seven six. Five zeros subtract nine two seven five. Okay, and then the next part we need to plus twenty five percent. Twenty five percent that's zero point two five. Mm. Multiply by the remaining part. Re remaining part is four one. Eight five zero subtract. Remember, this one is this seven uh, three seven six five zero. So this is a tax computation. Uh, use the calculator to find the, the amount of money of this. Uh, this is six two three three point seven five. And then the question provide us the information because the, the woman has the tax credits. So we need to use the tax computation, subtract the uh, credits, tax credits, which is 500. And then that's the income tax, uh, income tax. So I hope this makes sense.
Uh, if you don't understand, please let me know and uh, email me or uh, uh, ask me during the tutoring session. Okay, have a good uh, have a good day. Thank you.